Well guys, welcome back to Brussels Rides. Uh, I'm Matt again here with another Coleman Lantern 17B episode. This is our maiden voyage in the brand new camper. And as you can see, we got her all loaded up. She's sitting decently level. Um, you know, the truck's got about 327,000 miles on the frame. So yeah, I believe that. Uh, what we might end up doing is adding bags inside the coils and uh, yeah, that'll, that'll help her out a bit. But right now she's not sitting too bad. I'm actually pretty happy with how she's sitting. I had to actually do some adjusting because I bought that weight distribution hitch secondhand. So it was not set up for my truck. So I had to recalculate and readjust it. But I like the way it's sitting. This is our, our rig set up so far. The camper is fully loaded up. We put a hitch mount on the bumper, as you can see. We got the kids bikes. Kind of worried about these things coming out. It's already coming out. Yeah, these things look like they're gonna come out, so I'm probably just gonna pull pull the hose out, honestly. I'm worried it's gonna come off. Yeah, and here's the other side. That is a uh that's a problem. It this thing does not want to stay. That's not good. I think I'm gonna lose these bumper caps. I do need to get a backup camera. That's on my to-do list. Uh, there's a camera that everybody seems to be putting on these things and uh, I'll probably do the same. Also, a future project is gonna be to install the exterior lighting here. And uh, I do like when the windows people have been putting in this, so I might do that, but I might be a little too nervous about that for uh, as a starter project. But yeah, we got a 2003 Sequoia 20 year old SUV with 327,000 miles. <laughs> on its maiden voyage hauling this RV. Luckily, luckily it's not as heavy as the RV we were looking at, but this is a, uh, a good looking rig and trailer combo. What do you guys think down below? Gun fun camping? Yeah. yeah. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Brailster's Rides. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about the thing. So we just had our first camping trip and we're gonna talk about the things that went wrong on the trip, i.e. what to expect as far as the build quality. Uh, the, as, it, as you should know, the build quality, uh -oh. as you should know, the build quality on these campers is not fantastic. So we're gonna show you where we had some issues. So on various, pieces of the trim around the camper not not all over the place but in various pieces I think the vibrations of the camper actually jimmied free some of the sealant so I already had a tube of clear silicon in the car and I touched up everything as soon as we parked another place we had an issue uh, this black molding right here separated and since I only had the clear silicon, I just went ahead and sealed that up. But this where there's a big old tear right here that would have led to a lot of water intrusion. Now, we put a bike rack on our bumper. We are not, I am not a professional welder. However, I did weld uh, my senior design project in college. And looking at this, this thing is not, this bumper is not weld on here very well. I actually hit this up with some SEM. I hit it up. Ah. Uh-oh, yeah, uh-oh, it was bad. Uh, I hit it up with some SEM bumper coater. What happened is the bikes actually bent the bumper, which cracked free some of the paint in the welds, and uh, it was exposing bare metal. So, so I hit it with some SEM bumper coater. They kind of coated it again to keep it protected, even though, because there was bare metal exposed. I'm probably gonna have to get some Rhino liner or something. As you can see, I am missing my end caps because 
those end caps are pieces of junk and they popped off on the road trip. So I have no end caps. I need to order the magnetic ones that I hear everybody talking about. Now let's head into the camper. I got Maddox. Yeah, this is all. We're, we're, we're in the process of cleaning our linen from our first road trip. Next area we had issues um, was the cabinets themselves, all right? All right, so one of the big issues we had, like I said, was the actual cabinet fixtures themselves, the hinges. Uh, the wood's very poor. So the screws were backing out after just a couple iterations of use. So what I did is I backed them out about three quarters of an inch. And I put a dab of the gel super glue on there. As you can see, seems to be holding pretty well. Now, one other issue we had is with the fireplace. So it's not plugged in right now, so I can't show you it. But right here, you'd see a show temperature button. So we were camping, it was about 40 degrees outside, and I hit that button right there, and it said it was 74 degrees. The camper was set to 70 degrees, and I couldn't get the heat to come on, and it definitely was not 74. It didn't feel 74 to me, it felt like it was in the mid 60s. The AC unit was showing 67 in here, which looked a lot more accurate, sounded more accurate to me. Little man, keep, little man keeps me busy, guys. But yeah, so we were having some, I, I don't know if it's just quality issues with this, but I mean, that's just kind of what you have all around this thing, a bunch of quality issues. The last thing is, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this happened while we were riding, but there's a crack split down here and there's a nail there. So that probably happened during the build process. One last thing I, I would do recommend to you guys, when I was driving, we maintained about 60 to 65 miles an hour. And I was noticing that this awning up front was chattering a lot. So what I did is I got these bungee cords and it holds it stiff and that way you don't get that chatter because it right about whenever you hit brake 60 or so 55 60 the thing starts clapping back and forth and uh, that's not good i think it stresses it out a lot and so this kind of alleviates that stress but yeah we we did have a great time on our first camping trip there's already a lot of upgrades i want to do uh i did the poor man's gutter spout which actually worked out really well this 3m tape survived the first road trip it's stuck on there really well i use that stuff on my car parts uh, I do want to upgrade to a double step because I got short family members. And my dog couldn't even get up there. My old dog, she couldn't get up there. So I do want to do that. I want to get the double hook up for an outside shower from the low point drain. I also need to figure out a way to reinforce this bumper because as you can see, it's deforming a little bit. I need the magnetic end caps and I need a spare tire ASAP. I also want to finish hooking up my solar power. I want to get a cutoff switch for the battery and then a double propane tank holder with the complete enclosure. Those are just the first batch of mods I want to do, but uh, we'll see what we actually get to because we are a car channel and these bad boys do need to get modified. They're sitting here just waiting and the boys are waiting for some car show content. You wanna go to a car show, Hayden? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But that's all I got for today's episode of Brailsford Rides. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, let me know down below. If you haven't taken your Coleman Lantern out for its first run, let me know down below what you're looking forward to, what you're doing. And uh, after you've done it, comment down below. Let me know how it went for you guys. What went wrong? If you experienced some of the same issues as me, I'd like to hear it. Let me know. But that's going to do it, guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. See you next time on Brailsford's Rise. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm going to make it to the top. Leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me know. Bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock. Electric.